is good, John. Welcome back to it again. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another brand new video. As y'all can see, we got Vader right here pumping up that good E85. But we do got one of the homies. I'll show you this. That boy Gully, you feel me? IG gonna pop up on the screen right now. Make sure y'all tap in with the kid. <laughs> Gonna talk that talk one time, man. Yeah, JR Squad, it's your boy Billy yeah, Swift, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to one LE. You know, yeah, you know. Yeah, man. You about to do a little something, crazy. Let me give him a little cold spot. All right, all right, all right. Just a little something. Let her talk one time. Bro, the battery about to die on this bitch. I ain't even know. Damn, it's cool. We got the other one. Bro, got the courses. Like that. <laughs> well, we gonna see. I did not want to fill the car up. I hope that it doesn't fill it up because you never want to race on the full tank. But like I just said, the camera is about to die. So <sighs> luckily we got the GoPro and we also got the Insta360. $20, eight gallons. Do y'all a quick start up on time. Goodness. And look, y'all see how we riding right now. Yes, sir. So as you guys can see, we are kind of close to the full mark, but we do have about an hour drive to the track. So hopefully it goes down to about halfway and we, we should be okay with that. We don't want to be too heavy. So yeah, we can see what we can do.
Yeah. Okay, so look, check me out. As you guys seen from the first initial clips, we do have a track day video for y'all today. Now, I ain't gonna lie, a lot of stuff <laughs> went down at the track. And I'm I'm laughing and um I'm tweaking a little bit about the situation because the footage is the footage as far as production goes, bro, it was not a successful day. Um, let's just say that to say the least. So as you guys know, um, I just recently got the GoPro. Basically got that new angle for you guys, man, and that POV angle. So with that being said, y'all, um, I don't know how the hell this shit happened. I really don't know how this happened, bro, but two of the runs that I really needed the POV for, <sighs> two of those runs recorded in time lapse, which doesn't make any fucking sense to me. I don't know how it recorded in a time lapse when I've been shooting all day in regular mode. I never even went into time lapse. Well, I didn't even know the GoPros had a time lapse function. So, two of the POV runs that y'all really needed to see are in the time lapse. Now, I done already tried to put them in slow motion and slow them down, and that's how I have them in the video today. Now, the reason why y'all needed to see these runs is because of the simple fact that there's been a lot of chatter <laughs> around these runs. Um, so, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Ah, oh, bruh. Okay, so as, as you guys are going to see in the first run, we are neck and neck. I'm talking about dummy close. Um, bro must have had me by like a bumper when we went through the beams. And then I caught his ass right at, like literally right after the eighth. Like right after the eighth, right going into the eighth. My shit caught his ass. And I know because I looked to my right and I seen his side view mirror. So that's why y'all see in the videos, I cut on my caution lights because it was a dumbass close race. And I forgot that we at the track. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's been a minute since I've been at the track. I forget we at the track, man. The lanes is going to light up on their own. So I'm sitting here turning on my caution lights to show niggas like, yeah, bro, I took that dub because I seen my shit was in front of his shit. When I look to my right. Um, but as you guys see in the video footage, man, his lane lit up. So he got to the eighth before I did. It is what it is. But I wanted y'all to see that POV footage because I was telling the boys at the track. I'm like, bro, like I looked over and I swear to God, I seen bro side mirror in my passenger window. That's why I turned my lights on. But you know, it is what it is. Then the second run that you guys are gonna see we ran it back um the first run was a hot lap i had just ran the car I ran his homeboy's car and right after i ran his car they was like hey you trying to run bro when i went to go hot lap so i was like shit fuck it i'm not tripping so when we ran um and that was the first run that you guys seen it was neck and neck then <laughs> bro so damn petty bro this shit funny as hell so then, boom, I'm like, I right, bet I'm finna let my shit cool down. Bro kept running. So when he came back, I'm like, oh, yeah, let my shit cool down a little bit, and we gonna run it back. Bro was like, all right, that's cool. So we let it cool down a little bit. I'm like, all right, let's go ahead and run it because the track was finna close. So we pulling up to the staging lanes. I've been running left lane all day. All day. Mind you, like... My shit been spinning a little bit in the left lane, but I was able to, like, you feel me, drive it out. Like, that motherfucker pulling to the left and shit. It was pulling to the left, like, crazy. So, bro pulls up and stages in the left lane. I even told him, I'm like, I like how you took my lane. Nigga talk about... Oh, you wanted this lane? Like, brody, you knew I was in that lane all day, bro. But it's whatever. So I get in the right lane, bro, and we run it back. 
And as y'all can see from the footage, bro, like, bro, Vader spun his ass off. And that's why I'm so mad that this shit recorded in time lapse. Because, bro, when I tell y'all my car spun so bad, it started wheel hopping. I'm not capping. For those of you who've been rocking with the kid for a minute, y'all know I don't do that boasting and capping shit. Like, I keep it a buck with y'all. Do everything. So y'all know what really come with this stuff when you want to get into it. Like, the goods, the bads. Like, I ain't one of them YouTubers that just show the goods. Like, if I was, I wouldn't be showing none of the runs where I take an L in. I record and upload everything. Content is content. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I really wish that that footage would have recorded properly. Because y'all would have literally, A, been able to see my RPMs. And B... Been able to hear the car and see me vibrating in the car while the car wheel hopping, bruh. But, you know, GoPro recorded how it wanted to. The Insta360 ended up dying. It recorded about 15 minutes worth of footage because they done had us in the staging lanes for 20 to 30 minutes. Because they wanted to keep re-prepping and stuff like that. But the thing is with that, like, they would tell me, oh, yeah, we ready to go. So I'll have Frankie turn the camera on, I'll turn the car on, turn the GoPro on, and, and, and get ready to go. And then bro be like, oh, no, nah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They not ready. So, like, that being said, man, it was a good track day as far as getting data, as far as getting times go for Vader with the new tune. Yes. But as far as production goes for you guys, man, you know. We did what we could, bro. The camera ended up dying once we got to the track. The Insta360 ended up dying after my first two runs. The GoPro ended up recording in time lapse for my last two runs. Like, it just was, it was a, it was a mess. I didn't even get any data logs from my boy RK, and I was supposed to. I brought my tablet and everything, and I still didn't get no data logs. So, yeah, man, it was definitely... It was definitely an experience, but we got some, we got some, we got some fine tuning to do to Vader, and we're gonna be back out. We're gonna be back out. I gotta get some new tires. We gotta go ahead and, and fine tune Vader on the down, on the low end. Um, his top end already straight. We just gotta fix some things on the low end. Me and RK about to get to work, and then uh, we're gonna be back out. And uh, yeah, that car going. That car gonna do what it do, man. That's all I'm gonna say. I love my car. Um, I'm proud of my car. I can definitely see the improvements and the differences in the car for sure with the new tune. So, hey, we rockin' with RK, man. No cap. But with that being said, y'all, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for the kid. Turn on post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think of the runs, man. Let me know what y'all think of the runs, because I ain't going to lie. Shit, the internet done got real spicy after them. Hey, we going to be back outside. <laughs> but that being said, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and roll that outro. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Peace.